Hello and welcome back to yet another army showcase video, this time of my Albion army, which is quite a rare one to see. Uh, there's not a lot of people in the world who have a full army of these, which is kind of fun to be one of the few ones, I suppose. Uh, I finished this army about two months ago, and I had planned to do an army showcase pretty much right after. But uh, since I'm, I had been in the middle of a house move, that was not quite the case. And then I got stuck in to painting my Words of Chaos army pretty much right after. So I've been really busy painting for the last two months rather than doing arm shots. But I figure now was a good time, so hence why I'm doing it now. Uh, a quick note is that the army is mainly made up of Chronopia models from the Sons of Chronos range, as well as Keltos models from the Gael range, uh, with a few other manufacturers in between. So I will go through it as usual from the top left corner what all the units are called and what the manufacturer is. So first up we have some half giants. These are from Mir's Miniatures. Then we have a uh, giant. These are from Black Hat Miniatures uh, out of production now. This big boy is a bone grinder giant that I got from Mir's Miniatures during one of their many 50% off sales. Here we have some Classic Games Workshop models. This is uh, the Giants of Albion. Uh, Bologs and Kachtor, I believe they are called. Here we have a Stone Thrower. Um, the crew is from Keltos. The Stone Thrower itself is from Scotia Grendel. Here we have some uh, Fen Beasts, Classic Games Workshop models. Here we have some Centaurs. These are from Confrontation. Another other production company now. Here we have some uh, hounds, warhounds, with their handlers. These ones are from Keltos, Warlord, North Star, and uh, Reaper, I think. And the dogs themselves are from North Star and Warlord, if I remember correctly. At least Warlord, quite a lot of them, and I think a few Keltos moles in there. Here we have my Sword Maidens. These are Keltos and Chronopia. And I think there is a Bombshell miniature there as well. Here we have my Hearthguard. These are Chronopia models. And one of them with the big axe there, he is from Keltos. We got some uh, Ionbar Horse Warriors. These are mainly Cronopia mold. no sorry, these are Keltos molds with the champion being from Cronopia. Got some chariots, these are Keltos. Here we have some Viridian Lords, these are Cronopia models out of production. Slingers, or Youngblood's Witzlings to be more precise, these are from Keltos. Got some Void Raiders here, the molds themselves are from Vitrix, Naked Golk Fanatics. And the crew, no, sorry, not the crew, the command group is from World of Games Metal Models. Then we got some uh, warriors with great weapons. These are all from Keltos. And here we have more warriors with hand weapon and shields. Again, all Keltos models. And here we have warriors with spears. Uh, mainly Keltos models. The command group is from Chronopia. And here we have some more Youngbloods with Javelins, uh, mostly Chronopia, a few Keltos models, mainly for the champion. And we can do the characters here. We got Amanthas the Huntress. We have uh, two uh, heroes, the fighter ones, the chieftains. Uh, let's see, the Amanthas is from Keltos. Uh, the guy to the left is from Northstar. No, sorry, that's from Wargames Foundry. That guy is from Northstar. This is from Keltos. She's from Northstar, Gwenlen the Proud. Here we have a warlord or war leader who is from Keltos as well. This war leader on a giant Irish elk is from uh, the Cronopia range. Balsam Bear from the Cronopia range. Angus the Druid from Games Workshop. Truth Sayer, also Games Workshop. Here we have a bunch more druids. These are all from the Keltos range. 
And lastly, we have two more Druids from the Chronopia range. So a little bit of a mix of different manufacturers there, but they're all sculpted by the same guy pretty much. Um, Kev White did both the ranges for Keltos and Chronopia, so they fit really well together. And uh, yeah, that's another quick little tour of my Albion army. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Planning on doing more army showcases fairly soon. So uh, yeah, stay tuned for that. Cheers.